Susan's Plague, Berwick Chisholm. News 1. Rarefied Air. Sanborn Duper, here at an undisclosed location with Captain Joffrey. Needles Listow. So, Captain, how goes the war? The reporter asked the captain. The officer was stern, and his weathered face belied many years in the field. His head was shaved down to prickly stubble. Well, Sanborn, we have entered the ninth year of this conflict. We are still taking the fight to the enemy. MCSF are on the ground and in the air, and we have made a lot of progress in the last three months. Several important victories at key strategic locations that I cannot disclose have been won by our troops. Excellent news, Captain. Now you're the commander of the 3rd Jumper Wing, 451 Squadron, correct? Yes, this is correct. The Snakeheads. Ah, right. The infamous Snakeheads. If my sources serve me, the Snakeheads are the most battle-decorated squadron in the MCSF. Also correct. My pilots are the best, and I expect nothing less than excellence from each and every one of those sons of bitches. So, Captain, what do you think of Tulloch getting involved in the fighting? I heard the media report that Tulloch got involved due to MCSF pushing too far south in the pursuit of retreating and Hiller guerrillas. I disagree with that assessment. However, Tulloch has decided to get involved, and we will treat them like any other combatant. Their large standing army is formidable, I'll grant you that, but they cannot match us on the battlefield. We definitely have a technological edge, but our supply lines are far more extended than theirs. We now have six distinct factions fighting in this war. Makes things more complex. Atlans is still an ally, so you aren't fighting alone. To be honest, Sanborn, Atlans is only involved because if MCSF were to withdraw, the front lines could easily be pushed back into the interim too close to their core. That, and they want to appease Meta in case they need to call in a favor in the future. What is this going on behind you, Captain? I see a jumper taking off. Should we be taking cover? The reporter asked a big concern with the activity on the tarmac. No, there's no threat. That's a pilot, going up to dodge the dart. The captain turned and shielded his eyes with a skeletal titanium prosthetic hand to get a better look. Dodge the what? Some of our pilots choose to test their metal against the orbital platforms by breaking the 2,222 meter limit. They call it dodging the dart. We don't officially endorse that practice, but it has become a rite of passage for elite pilots. Some also tried to best the standing record of 5,101 meters. Who holds the record? I do, son, he answered without moving his eyes from the ascending craft. He was no more than five years, the reporter senior. Can you narrate what we are seeing here, Captain, for the viewers at home? Sure. I believe, as Corporal, Lisa Loop Vargas. She's a rising star in the Snakeheads. Tenacious in combat. Great reflexes. Excellent augmentation interface. Tiny thing. About 150 centimeters in boots. After breaking her pelvis in combat, she opted for quadrilateral prosthetic augmentation. She has more titanium in her than the jumper she pilots. I've noticed many pilots have limb replacements. Why is that? The reporter prompted. G-load and combat is extremely high. Titanium limbs aren't as fragile. Looks like she's settled in and is now at max velocity. Let me pull the jumper data feed up here. He produced a tablet from his hip pocket. Okay, she's at full power and everything looks good. 2,222 meters in just a second. Bingo! The platform is now tracking her. Every second above 2,222 is potentially lethal. Looks like she's doing the cutting maneuver. What's that? Most pilots start jinking like mad even before crossing the barrier. Cuddy held the record before I broke it. He flew straight up for the first few seconds, getting altitude fast at the risk of presenting a very easy target. Sometimes, sometimes the darts start flying right away. Other times, there's a pause. No one knows why. Once you start dodging the darts, Getting altitude becomes very difficult. Sam could be said of staying alive. 3,000 meters, she's pushing it. 
A brilliant, purple-tinged flash streaked down from above just missing the craft. Whoa! She dodged it. The platform has locked on and is calculating its firing solutions. She's jinking hard now. Another dart and a miss. What's the most darts anyone has dodged? I dodged nine. Five on the way up and four on the way down. Some pilots get above the barrier and just dance around. You've had a few darts and return to collect their glory. Even still, I think the most darts dodged by a surviving pilot is 11. I think that Jock is a jumper pilot back in the court now. Fairies about some very important people, so there is a life after combat. 4,100 meters. She's getting really beat up. Titanium or not, those G's take their toll. She must want my record bad. A sky lit up again and again. Sonic booms. Assaulted the spectators below. The reporter flinching visibly every time. Five darts now. Pilot Pulse 185. Telemetry indicates that last dart might have messed up some instrumentation. Altitude 4208. And oh, dart six just grazed engine four. She's on descent rapidly. This is the worst part. You're entirely beat up and you're focused solely on losing altitude. A hair stands up on the back of your neck because you feel the platform as the monster under your bed. The creeping doom in the night and it's up there, unseen behind you, hunting you down. I'll admit, it's the scariest damn thing there is. He watched a small craft, spiraling erratically down, a thin trail of smoke following it down. Is she out of control? It's not quite a death spiral. She still has some control, but her priority now is reaching the deck, and with an engine down, lateral acceleration is diminished. She can't jink. She just has to make that spiral random and unpredictable to get the platform a harder time with the targeting. 2,900. Come on, Corporal. Drinks are on me. There was another flash, and two darts intersected at a point in the sky. At that intersection, Corporal leaves off Argus, and her jumper instantaneously became nothing more than highly energized particles. Next, at 2,299 meters on descent. Same. Such a promising pilot, the captain announced without a hint of emotion. Next, once in a while, there are two platforms above the horizon. At the same time, in an occasion, they fire in sync. When they sync fire, they're hit. Percentage is 100. We call it getting X'd. Again. We never know how many are up there. Always one. Sometimes two. Either way, life above 2,222 meters is always treacherous and often very short. He placed a tablet back in his pocket. I see that. Thank you, Captain. This has been Sanborn Duper. Live near the front. Now back to the studio.